Good morning and night, guys. My name is Miss Sunshine. Welcome to a game called The Walsingham Files. If you guys remember, I played a game called Silver Creek Falls, and the guys who made that entire series, there was three parts to it, and the people who made that entire series made this game. Um, and if you don't know much about the game, it's up on the channel. You can go and see it. It was like a mystery type game, and I think aliens were involved. It was really cool. Loved it. Um, don't know much about this one except for, like, one of the characters that was in the other game is in this one, uh, Sarah Fitzgerald. She's in this, and I think we're going to be following along kind of with her story a little bit, so I'm excited. We're going to get into it. All right. Hello, and welcome to The Walsingham Files, the sequel to Silver Creek Fall series. Heck yeah, I'm excited already. Guys, I loved that series. Loved it. While it is not 100% necessary to have played Silver Creek Falls uh, series to enjoy this game, we highly recommend that you do play it first. I do can't remember a single thing about it, except for I loved it. Silver Creek Falls Chapter 1 is available for free on Steam. Yep, I know. Much like Silver Creek Falls, this is a mystery adventure. Yep. And they love the music. Okay. This game attempts to simulate the experience of being a detective. Therefore, good note-taking is a must. This game does not hold your hand, blah, 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 blah. Clues and details, it's on you to write down what is useful and deduct how it's relevant to the case. We highly recommend you have a pen and paper and a calculator at hand, but I need to calculate it. Good luck and have fun. Objective, check in with Officer Jackson. I'll do no such thing. Friday, October 26, 2018. Police Station, Massachusetts. All right. Says, hey, Sarah. Hey, let me get a pen. Got it. And some paper. <laughs> Got it. All right. And a calculator. It's called having a cell phone. Got it. All right. Let's do this thing. Wait, before I check in with him. Gonna see if there's anything. I like the music so far. <laughs> I thought it was weird, like when I opened up the game and there wasn't any music, but I like the music here. Hello. Good morning, Sarah. This is. How is this fine morning treating you? Sorry. Can't complain, really. Though it beats me why the captain has me come so. come in so early every day when I really have much to do. Hey, at least you don't have to come in as early as I do every day. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. I have to come in at like 3 in the morning. I have to come in at like, what, 8, 7? Sorry. All good. Would you believe that a few years back we actually had two detective positions? No, I can't. Glossa da 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 is a lot safer than it used to be. I can see that. So, Anything interesting for me today? As a matter of fact, there is. Captain Elise told me to tell you to report to him right away. Ellis, not Elise, sorry. I wonder what it could be about. Alright, let's go check it out. Officer Ellis! <laughs> Say... Say what you want about small towns, but they sure treat detectives well here. I even have my own office, albeit a very small one, but it's still an office nonetheless. Let's check out your stuff then. I have a packed overnight bag in here. Don't think I need it this time. Okay. Well, this is where I put my unsolved case files. Ooh, we're gonna solve case, man. Do, 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 bring. I want to do a little bit of exploring, then I'll go talk to officers. I'll go talk to them. Evidence room. Pretty empty given that very little happens in this town. And then you ask the question, why does very little happen? Uh-huh. Captain, you wanted me to come see you? Ah, yes. Come on in, detective. So, how are you adjusting to... Blah, blah, blah. It's a nice town, and I like it here. But more than anything, I'm just glad to be back in Massachusetts. Ah, yes. Where were you before? Norfolk, Virginia. Now, I remember. Norfolk is a bit rough, isn't it? 
nowhere near as rough as South Boston, where I started out, but definitely rougher than Golubita. Go Golster? I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry. Oh yeah, you were a Massachusetts State Trooper before. Again, why didn't you go back to MSP after you applied to leave? I got into a bit of a bad flight with my captain in Virginia, who was friends with the commissioner of Norfolk, who in turn was a classmate of Colonel McHannon? McMahon? I don't know. Whatever. The current head of the MSP. I was pretty untouchable, untouchable after that, which is why I really appreciate you taking me in, Captain. You know, a bunch of really good recommendations came in for you after you put in your formal application. And from a really varied group of officers from different departments. Really? Like who? Sheriff Davis from Silver Creek Falls? That's who his, I forgot his name. That's who it was. Heck yeah. Sheriff Majors from Walleye Head. Lieutenant Visconti. Oh my gosh, I remember him too. From the MSP. He even got a recommendation from an FBI special agent and a detective inspector from Scotland, Scotland Yard. I remember this case went so deep in Silver Creek Falls, all of them were involved. It was insane. Heck yeah. I mean, what are you, a secret agent or something? Nothing like that, that you know of. I just handled a really big case down in North Carolina and for some reasons that are still beyond my full comprehension. I ran into a lot of departments along the way. That's the case that led to the conflict with your old captain, right? Yes, I wanted to keep the case open, but my captain refused and insisted I close it already. I doubt you'll have anything that juicy up here. Gloucester? Gloucester? I don't know. For anybody who lives in Massachusetts and this is a real place, I am so sorry for mispronouncing it. I really am. This, is a, this town isn't often considered ideal for a young detective like yourself. It's considered more of a place where overstressed Boston police detectives wait till retirement. Well, I ain't complaining, sir. As I said before, I'm glad I still have a place in the police force. Good, good. So, what do you have for me? It's career day today at the high school. Here I am thinking I'm going to work on a big case or something. I got to go to a high school. Yikes. Anyway, Officer De... Mm. Yeah, is going to give a talk today, but I figured it would be nice if they heard from a detective too. Given how clear your schedule has been of late, I figured this would be something nice to do for you. Got me to admit that I have free time before asking me to do this. Well played, Captain. I told officer to wait for you at the bullpen. She'll drive you over. I'm cool to drive, sir. We can take my car instead. Now, I bring the squad car over. The kids love it when we show them all the cool gadgets we have. Good thinking. Wait, high schoolers love this? I don't... I don't think so. And before I do that, let's just check up on this side, too. I really do love the music, it's cool. Two suspected arsons last year. Sergeant Mike Owens. I wonder when Sergeant Owens will be back from leave. His name seems familiar too. 15 auto thefts reports last year, my goodness. Officer Daphne Jackson. That must be you! Officer DeVry? De I don't know. Detective Fitzgerald, the captain told me that I'm to accompany you to Gloucester High School for career day. Yes, ma'am. The principal wanted to show as many facets of police work as possible. Well, it's not like I have anything else to do, so let's do this. Hey, she's on my team now. Hmm. Is this Captain Firebeard's fish this box doing here? What is it doing here? Yeah, I thought they stopped making these years ago. I got fish sticks. I can't. Four robberies reported last year. This is from Officer. Oh, De... I think her name's Devise. Whatever. 65 assaults reported last year. Mm, okay, okay. I'll pro I'll progress the game. I'll progress. Mm, mm, mm. Detective Fitzgerald, what do you want, sir? 
I just got a call from Sergeant Langley from the Exus County Police. Exus is in London, right? He's requested a detective to go meet him at Willowdale Nature Reserve right now. Oh, any details, sir? He seems distressed and out of breath, so I couldn't hear him properly. Now he's not answering his radio. I'm on it, sir. Device, go with her. This sounds kind of serious, and Sergeant Langley might need backup. What about career day? What about the high schoolers? What about the children? Forget that. We'll just have to cancel. I'll call the principal myself to explain. Now go. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, sorry. Like that. The uh, ooh, are we taking the police car? Can we take the police car? Are we taking the police. Wait a minute, can I drive back? No, ma'am. No, sorry, ma'am. What are you doing? We need to find Sergeant Langley. That's right. Just checking that the car is locked. That's all. Good. Have to. Devise, right? That's right, ma'am. You ever been on a criminal investigation before? As a first responder, yes. Not with a detective, though. You plan on taking the exam for detective? Yes, I do. I actually joined the force with the intention of becoming a detective. Seems to be a nice kid, and you clearly know what you're doing, so I'm going to keep it simple. Let me do all the talking and pay close attention to what I say and what I ask. Got it? There will be times when you'll need to follow my lead, understand? Yes, ma'am. Got it. Guess I'm meeting him in this household. I think this is the ranger station for Willowdale Nature Reserve. According to protocol, these should be staffed at all times. There's something big going on, that's for sure. You don't know it's big just yet. Someone has been leaving these boxes of fish sticks around. This one is half eat this is a half eaten one. Looks like they didn't even cook them, just ate them out of the box without cooking them. That's disgusting. You don't do that. Maybe we could use the radio to communicate with the park ranger beside the reserve. We could if this radio is functional. This radio doesn't work? Nope. We need to have a word with the head ranger. What a mess. These park rangers really need to learn how to keep a cleaner workstation. Sarah, let's not judge too harshly, okay? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Any books? Anything interesting? Just compliance and protocol guides for the park rangers. Nothing out of the blue. Alright, let us go and, uh... Yeah. Oh, hello! Hi, Sir Sergeant Langley? That's me, you Detective Fitzgerald? That's right. What's with the police line all the way out here? I thought the incident occurred inside Willowdale Forest Reserve. I have no idea what's going on, Detective. I just got orders from Danvers to create a police line with a hundred feet radius of the entire nature reserve. Danvers? Is the Massachusetts State Police running the show? Not yet, but they better take over soon. They got all the police departments from Salem to Georgetown pitching in to complete this big police line. Who did you get your orders from? Captain Captain Bisconti, Troop A. Wow, Bisconti is the captain of Troop now. A, Troop A now? You know her? Yeah, we go back. She was my CO back when I was in the MSP. That explains this, Ben. Explains what? Here, take this envelope. One of their runners gave it to me not 20 minutes ago. He said it's for your eyes only. It's from Captain Visconti. I see. Gonna open that bad boy. Let's see. To Detective Fitzgerald. Whoa, that's like big. Okay. Sarah, I need you on this one. All my detectives from Troop A have their hands tied, and I can't trust any of these small town detectives. Glad to hear you are back in Massachusetts. Michelle. Um, go ahead and screenshot of that. I've been ordered to, 
to, to let you and only you pass the police line. I guess this is where we part ways. We'll have none of that, officer. Sergeant Langley, this is my backup, and I'd like to bring her in. I don't know. I was told I was only allowed to let you in. I wasn't told that you were going to bring a partner. Buddy, you're sending me into a crime scene without telling me any details, and you expect me to go in alone? You gotta be kidding me, guy. He's like, well, that does make sense. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Eh, fair enough. I'm not gonna pull rank over something like this. Your name, officer? Officer Ramon De DeVry, sir. Ramon. Just gonna call her that. Cause I don't know. ID number? Ooh, I should write down her ID number. We're gonna we're gonna write that down, okay? Gonna Yeah. Gonna get that. G L dash three five six seven four and there we are. And we got it. There we go. Okay, I'll put it on record that you two went in together. Thank you. Detective, I forgot to tell you. Yeah? The park ranger that called and whatever is happening is still inside the park. I believe he's waiting for you past the first forest clearance. He'll brief you into what's happening here. Understood. Thank you, Sergeant. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, so I'm guessing I just keep straight ahead. He's inside the park. Mm. Ooh, actually, you know what? I think I am going to save it here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save it here. For the simple fact that I'm running out of time, but I'm interested. I want to know... Oh my gosh, I want to know is everyone going to come back from the last one. I really, really would like that. I would love that. That would be amazing. That would be awesome. But, I don't know what's going to happen. The fish stick boxes are weird. It's kind of whatever. And things are already starting off. Heck yeah. But we'll meet the ranger in the next one. I'll pick it back up then. So, thank you guys so much for joining me for this. And until next time we meet, stay sunny side up, guys. Bye!